This is the Pites 100 amp hour 48 volt server rack battery. This battery is the Ebox 48100R. This battery can be used in your home for residential use, could be used in commercial use applications, and it can also be used in the telecom industry. This battery has a standard charge and discharge of 50 amps. This battery has a 10 year warranty. It also has every UL listing you can think of. This is even certified to be used in California. It also has 6,000 charge cycles, which means that you can charge and discharge this battery for 16 years every day, and you will still have 90% after 16 years of charging it every day and discharging it every day. Another crazy thing about this battery is the BMS inside of the battery is made in-house and it has two processing chips inside of the battery made by Texas Instruments, which means that if one chip were to fail, it has a redundancy backup chip inside to keep the battery running. Some of the items received in the box with the battery is you have your manual. I was also given a ground cable because this battery over here, you can actually ground the battery out for safety. It also came with a communication cable. If you wanted to parallel up more than one unit, you would use this to connect to the batteries so that they can communicate with each other. Uh, we also have another rather long communication cable. I believe this is gonna be to connect up to a computer so that you can see what's going on inside the battery through the BMS. We also have mounting brackets for this battery so that you can mount it into the server rack securely. Uh, even tension to detail, even the screws for the mounting brackets all have blue Loctite already on the screws ready for you. We also have some specialty cables here that came with the battery. These here are four gauge silicone wire rated for a thousand volts and the temperature rating is 105 degrees. So some pretty hefty wires here. I'll show you when I bring it in closer the uh, system that they have for connecting to the battery itself and then running to your inverter. So let's take a closer look. Taking a look at the front of the battery, we have our on off switch. And then to get the battery to start, press and hold this switch. And everything lights up and powers on. Down here we have our dip switches in order to set your programming for your inverter. We have a console plug-in, a CAN port, RS485 port, and a LINK1 and a LINK2 port. Now these are going to be to connect your batteries in parallel in order for them to communicate with the BMS inside the battery. Over here we have two negative terminals and two positive terminals. Now as you can see this is not your average connection. We do not have a nut or a screw or a lug here. We have this cable here for connection. We have this barrel plug on one end and we just have a regular battery lug on the other end. And when you push this in, that clicks and locks into place and you cannot remove it. There's a button on the side that you have to press and pull. So here's your button right here. Once you connect these terminals, they cannot come out unless you push the button on the side. On either side of the battery, we have these heavy duty handles for carrying the battery. And on the top of the battery, we have the battery model. We have battery type. We have the operating voltage range, nominal voltage range. We have the rated energy, rated capacity, discharge and charge standard current maximum discharge and charge and we also have the maximum charge slash discharge power operating temperature of this battery and we have the protective class this is a class one next let's hook this up to my capacity tester and see what type of capacity i can pull out of this battery discharge test with the pites battery so we'll start by turning the battery on Okay, we have flashing lights. Now I'm going to pre-charge the capacitors of my inverter. We're charged up. Okay, looks like we are sitting at 54.9 volts and I'm ready to begin the test.
Now we're looking for a 20 amp draw to do a 0.2 C discharge rate, which is industry standard for a battery test. Okay, so we are discharging at a rate around 20 amps. We're gonna let this run. Uh, should be about five hours, so I'll come back at that point and share the results. Fast forward five hours later, and the test results are in. We have 101.68 amp hours out of this Pite's 100 amp hour battery. Now let's open this battery up and see what's inside. Looks like we have some screws across the top here and across the side. Now I have to say, do not open up these batteries. Anything over 50 volts can seriously harm you. So do not open these batteries at home. Straight away we can see we have blue Loctite on the screws. All right. So it looks like we have two 24 amp hour packs and these are going to be series together to get your 48 volt pack. So it's kind of like a modular unit inside here with these two different modules. So let's start up here at the BMS. It looks like we have two separate boards. We have this upper board here and then a lower board that goes down into here. Uh, over here Looks like we have our bounce cables that are gonna run down in this fire retardant tape and it's all zip tied, runs down. And we have one balance lead into the battery pack over here and then we have another balance lead into the battery pack over here. Coming back to the BMS, we have our negative cables here, which is eight gauge. We have a pair of them in silicone wire and they run down over to the battery packs as well. And then we have our positive wire with eight gauge wire that runs back to the battery pack. And looks like we have from the battery, it enters the BMS here and then exits the BMS on this side and runs over into the back of where the bus bars are. Now these are all taped up very nicely with some fire retardant tape. So first thing I'm going to do is disconnect all of these balance leads and then see if I can get inside one of these 24 volt batteries and see what the cells are. Okay, the battery is now deactivated. Okay, here we have a XT90 plug. That's going to be for the battery negative that's running into this battery here. Okay. All right, check this out. So down in here, we have our connections. This is where it's series for the 48 volt pack. And this is gonna be the positive and this is gonna be the negative. So I'm gonna see if I can get this buzz bar off of here. I think that these two packs are now separated. So I'm gonna remove these bolts. So we have four of these bolts holding down each pack, so eight in total. But on this pack I have four. I'm going to remove those. Okay, I think I might be able to pull out one of these 24 volt packs. So here we have a 24 volt module. Now I want to see if I can get into this. Oh wow. I actually really thought they were using pouch cells on this. We actually have some prismatic cells. All right, okay, so you can see on here, we have neoprene padding uh, pushed up against the cells. I really thought that they were using pouch cells in here, but these are actually 
prismatic cells. It looks like we have one, two, three, four 100 amp hour cells. This is going to be a 12 volt and then a 24 volt pack once you series them. Outstanding. Wonder if I can get to the terminals. I'm guessing the terminals are going to be up here. Oh yeah, okay. I am determined to get this open now. Hey Google, turn off the heater. Sure, turning the heater off. What do we have here? All right, so this is about as far as and as deep as I want to go. Unfortunately, I can't see any QR codes to tell what kind of cells these are, but if anybody knows by these vent covers and the form factor what they may be, but actually, you know what? I do know who makes these. So the company that makes these cells is by a company called REPT Energy. It has been said that this battery manufacturer is actually rated one of the top 10 battery cell manufacturers in the world. So the fact that they're using these really high quality cells really says something about this battery. Oh, we have a thermal probe over here. So we can see here, they actually have a potted terminal for the uh, thermal reading for the battery. Looks like we have one here we have another one right here, and that's actually onto the battery buzz bar itself and not just affixed to the cells. Yeah, looks like we have two on top. So one here, potted terminal, and another potted terminal here. And then you can see all of our balance leads are all nice, and they have their own little compartment here, and they all have a little squirt of glue on there to make sure that they don't back out. We have a little board here with all the balance lead cables run into and run into this connector that run over to the BMS. So I'm gonna put this battery back together and then I'm gonna give you all my final thoughts on it. Okay, I have the module back together and I must say the level of detail and quality in this pack is, I have never seen anything on the market like this out of all the YouTube review videos I've seen. I've never seen a battery quite like this. And one thing I've noticed is every single bolt has Loctite on it. Wow, what can I say? Like, wow. So this is the Pites battery. Uh, this is crazy how great quality this battery is. It is a little bit more pricey than some of the other options on the market, but you really get what you pay for. So if you're looking for something that is completely UL certified, that is safe to use in commercial, telecom, residential, whatever you're looking to use this in, this is gonna last you for an extremely long amount of time. Also, you can parallel up to 14 units of these in parallel, so you can up how much actual storage capacity you have. I mean, the level of quality on this, like everything is just built solid tough. Like you have a redundancy with the BMS, you have two chipsets. I mean, I, I don't even know how much, uh, what else I can say about this. I highly recommend this to anybody who's looking for a solid system that is not gonna break down, that is not gonna disappoint you. This battery is definitely gonna be it. So I'll leave a link in the description to their website where you can check these out. There's a ton of distributors out there that use it. I will link to my favorite distributors in the description below. Uh, so definitely check these guys out. And uh, thank you for watching. More good videos coming up. Thanks, bye.